Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Herat on the very hard difficulty. We're doing all levels with a blank slate, and this is E2L7, the Granny's Valley. Let's begin. So we're going to start off with a lovely drive, since we got the motorcycle from the previous level. And we're in no rush, so yeah, you go on ahead. We're going to take a right, and then a left. And another left. It's a lovely drive through the rustic Czech countryside. And here's our stop. So let's stop right here. Grab the Karuna and the shells and let's start killing. And there's something I neglected to do since the kick function was added. You can kick it right back at these guys. So let's actually do that. Oh. I'm missing my shots. There we go. And there you go. You're all nice and dead. And this guy's just jumping around here. That's fine by me. Because I'm going to gun you down. And you know who else I'm going to gun down? These bees. Screw you, bees. Ow, 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 Yes, a plate. We're going to collect eight of those in this level. And we're going to eat a three-course meal. And we're going to spin the wheel. We're going to go around here. And shoot that switch. Very sneaky switch. There's a bottle of wine here. We need the horse key to continue going into this area, but we're shooting that switch for later. I'll show you what that does when the time comes. For now, though, we're going to take a little trip in here and read the book about Babichka. Our grandmother is no more. For many a year, she has slept beneath the cold sod. Sad. Well, let's lighten things up a little bit by going through this area, by lighting this fellow up. Yeah, it works just fine, right? Very good. Alright, up we go, right around here. We're gonna grab the horse key and open this up to get another secret. We have three out of eight plates. A lot of them are very close to each other, so we're all good. And if these guys want to be cheeky and try to shoot you, you don't have to worry about it. You just run around in circles. Look at this guy. Mmm, nice bike. Don't worry, it's not yours. Your bike's still parked outside, but he had his own. He brought his own wheels. But mine are better. Alright, since we had the horse key, we can finally go right back here to open up this door wood block thing. And if you shot the electric panel in that tiny little window, this area will also be opened up, which is a secret, and it also gives you four out of eight plates. Very nice. So we got the common key, which we can use for this door. Opening it up, we can go to this area, kill this fellow. I'm going to use the Hosai hand cam. We got that earlier. And I'm just going to destroy this fellow. Very nice. I'll take a little trip down here. I'm going to spin this. And I'll be back here later. For now, though, there's something else I want to show you. I'm going to go back into here and look at this clock. It is a very finely made clock. And notice that if your computer clock is set at a specific time, you will see that the clock here is set to it as well. And when the clock strikes the start of the hour, something fun happens. Go we'll wait for it. There it is, the cuckoo. That's a summary of my mind right there. Anyways, back to business. That gives you an achievement, by the way. So, if your computer clock is set, or if you're playing this level at the right time, you can actually get that achievement rather easily. 
Anyways, we flicked a brick over here to open this area up. And we're going to do another flick of the brick. And we're going to use that as well. So we can get more plates. And this area itself is a secret. So make sure you tag it. And you'll be good to go. Anyways, we're going to grab everything now. And return to whence we came by flicking this brick. Killing all the headsmen here. Deadly headsmen. But we should be good. Or are we good? Well, here's what happens when we grab this key. Yeah, Bob just got a jump scare. That's ridiculous. Anyways, let's deal with these guys. And they are dealt with. Very nice. So, now that everything's good and dead, we can return to where we were before. And this time, yeah, I'm watching you, Babichka. We can use the key to open this door up, and we can get another plate. Seven out of eight, as a matter of fact. Our collection is almost complete, but look who is watching us. I'm watching you too. There's a dog here, and also... I hope you're ready to fight Babichka. Uh, she's ready to fight you. She's, like, probably one of the deadliest mini-bosses in the game, because her projectiles travel, like, at the speed of light, basically. And they deal a ton of damage if they hit you at the right spot at the right time. But if you deal with her, uh, it's pretty much smooth sailing for the rest of the level. So let's celebrate to our survival. Because we got the rust key, we can now go down here, break the toilet in the outhouse, and we're going to try to drop down here. Well, we didn't do it that time, but we'll do it later. This is a stinky place. But we're going to blow this up to get the lightning gun. And we'll be back here later, because we want to drop down into this area. And we will, eventually. First off, though. We're getting some more wine, a backpack, and some other things. And when we go into this area, bats will try to attack you. So let's kill them. Yeah, screw you. Screw you, bat. Come on, bat. All right, now that we've dealt with those, fellas. Look, it's sulfuric acid. Yeah, let's break that and spread it all over ourselves. Very nice, right? Well, flicking this will allow you to go up this ladder, but... I don't trust this fella. He's just hanging around, but I don't want him to hang here anymore. I don't trust these guys either. Why would I? Yeah, these guys are all dead. Oh, good and dead. Very nice. Also over here. Open this up, and you'll get a secret with a medal. Very nice. Now let's try this again. And at first you don't succeed, try, try again, because you now have the opportunity to do this repeatedly. I think you have to hug the right wall. Or go forward. It's a matter of persistence, really. Kind of just have to brute force it. There you go. And here you go, you got the Reddit Gold Reward. Very nice. Well, this time, we can actually try to do things with it. It's like a light berserk, kind of. But I'll show that in a little bit. For now, we have a snake in the pit. Stupid snake. Yabot! Yeah, you can toss wine like a Molotov at these things. Or at anything, really. You having fun down there in the fire pit? You piece of shit. That's what you get. You idiot. There's some fellas here. I'm just gonna destroy the hell out of them. And you too, Weisenheimer. 
Now we kill the snake here, we can open this up and get more wine. Let's celebrate. By getting drunk. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Alright, when we go into this room, these heads will appear. And when you kill both of them, the floor breaks and you'll have to fight some fishies. So let's fight the fishies. Let's kill them fishies. Then we can go under here and go up to this area. Here's a Cavalier of Chaslav, which we can use right here. So quickly, let's go around here. Destroy this fella, like, immediately. Open this door up. Click the switch, and let's do some fighting. Let's use a lightning gun. Yeah! Double damage lightning gun. Beautiful, isn't it? Of course, the lightning gun is still beautiful as it is, but, you know. We're just going to kill the rest of these guys, and all's well. Here's some miners we can just destroy pretty easily. And I'm going to use the crossbow since I have it. And the SMG. It's been a while since I used that. Yeah, I got you, you idiot. You nincompoop. Pretty damn satisfying to kick their grenades back at them. Even more so when you set them ablaze. Or even better, you jib them. Well, here's something interesting. There's a circuit right here. And when you shoot it, you can go back here and grab a secret with two times the amount of fun. Yeah. Well... Can't really use it since we kill all the enemies. But if you manage to backtrack, then you can do that. I didn't even use the Pioneer of Reddit award thing. But it can be useful if you don't want to use your ammo, I suppose. But you kind of do. Anyways. The day. The degustation. Very interesting thing here, huh? Well, we'll figure that out, what that is, by ending a level. Let's do just that. Alright, that's the Granny's Valley, and um, quite an interesting level with a lot of things that you could potentially do. And if you collect all the plates, you can use them in the next level to get another achievement. But the key achievements you want to get in this level in particular are the Cuckoo achievement, which requires you to basically either play right near the crack of the hour or set your computer clock the uh bees achievement which requires you to break the beehives and then go into the water to survive their attacks because otherwise they'll friggin sting you to death and of course the dish achievement which we're gonna get in the next video since we got all of them here now this level is a uh, Generally, uh, generally different. Very creative. Even more creative than a lot of the levels we've seen in episode one. And I think it kind of stands out from the other levels in episode two. Just for how bizarre it is and how different it is. Like, the granny jump scare? Really? That's amazing. <laughs> well, we sure went through this level. But, uh... I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Stay tuned for the next video where we go into the final level of episode 2. But until then, I'll see you when I see you. So see ya.